Welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, hopefully I don't keep you guys too long. We got seven drinks. Not all of them are new, but, uh, you know, they're, they're all featured, and I've never tried them. As far as I look back at my Dunkin' Reviews, I don't think I've ever tried any of them. And I wanted to give you something fun. You know, there's not a lot of fun to this fall menu from Dunkin'. Of course, Starbucks kind of kept it laid back, too. Uh, we've got some really fun coffee reviews coming, I promise. Uh, we're going to go south. We're going to go to Caribou, Scooters, Siggy's, all kinds of different places so just stay tuned for that but there's a new uh, dunk -a latte using this rich coffee milk trying to give you this uh milkshake on the ice kind of experience is what duncan is describing it as i'm just like okay cool but you know people really right now are just worried that pumpkin spice is back right but i'm gonna give you a review of what i got and i hope you enjoy it if you don't then i'm sorry I tried my best, and we'll move on from there, right? So, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so what are we doing first? I have no clue. I think I do know what we're doing first. We're gonna find that Dunkle Latte. That's what we're gonna find. All right, yeah, Dunkle Latte. See how creamy it looks. All right, it's supposed to be like a coffee milkshake experience. So let's let's see. Yeah, that's very interesting. It's like you you, you know a frozen coffee, right? Especially if you think about like a frosted coffee at Chick Fil A. It's like that. Except, instead of it being completely frozen, you're drinking it. So it's got this thicker consistency, and it's very creamy, but also has that coffee flavor. And it, it hits it really well. Now, does it blow my mind? Absolutely not. Is it still good? Absolutely so. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um... But yeah, if you just, if you're thinking, okay, you like frosted coffee, but you don't like how cold it is. You don't like the texture, how thick it is, right? If you don't want to go and wake up in the morning, you want the flavor of it, but you don't want, you know, everything else about it. That's what Duncan's going for, I think. So, all right, almond spice. For some reason, I don't think I've had this as far as when I looked back, but it is pumpkin spice and almond, toasted almond milk. Um, almond milk and toasted almond syrup. So let's try it. Huh. It's very interesting. It is almond forward. That's the words almond spice. I don't really get a fall vibe from this. Like, for me, I feel like this would be something I would be drinking in the dead of winter. Albeit it is pumpkin spice. The almond's so heavy on it that it feels like this nutty, spiced flavor. It's not really my thing. But it's very interesting. Like, I want to give it a 6, but I'm so perplexed by it. I'm going to give it a 7. Well, no. I'm going to say 6.5. Let's do that. Let's go in the middle there. 6.5. Alright. Uh, now we've got pumpkin vanilla oat milk. This one should be good. This one should be, you know, very creamy. But very oaty. So let's, let's give it a try. Definitely want heavier pumpkin, heavier spice. It's also got some rich notes, right? It's very interesting. But that's less heavy on the spice. 
that one needs a lot of improvement. I don't usually give out a five and a half. I'm going to give this a five and a half. Um, reason being is, you know, I'm very much on the fence about this one. I'm telling you, should you get it? But it's very perplexing in the way that it is. Albeit, it could use some improvement, some more pumpkin, some more spice. It's also got some, some really interesting notes to it. So I can't give it like a five absolute outright. I'm going to give it a five and a half. All right, where are we going next? Uh, let's see guess I should find that pumpkin macchiato if it even looks like a macchiato anymore here it is but uh yeah this one macchiato is weird to me right how are you supposed to drink a macchiato without I mean I get the aspect of buying it and then you know looking at it admiring how cutesy it is how the layers are but then like why are you why it's weird to me because if you just drink it as is, like, you could take a straw and go up and down, but that's the same as mixing it, right? To me, like, a macchiato just feels like it, it's a weird experience. Like, why would someone want to drink coffee and then this flavored milk after they drank the coffee? Don't you want to drink it all together? I've never understood macchiatos. If you want to explain that experience to me, how you're supposed to enjoy a macchiato, maybe I understand a little bit better. But yeah, let's, let's take a sip. Yeah, there's nothing but coffee up top. And I don't know if they... Did they give me straws? I don't think they gave me straws. That's kind of funny. So, yes, they did. I'm an idiot. I just don't use straws. So, yeah, I mean, up top, you just get coffee flavor. And then if you get a little bit more of the coffee, you can go down and you drink that pumpkin milk. But me, let's go in the middle here. I enjoy mixing it, right? I enjoy the color of it. I really do. I, I think it's truly something to treasure. Let's see, now that's going to mess up my TikTok. Now that I'm going to do, but anyway... But yeah, I don't, I don't know. And then it doesn't seem like there's a lot of pumpkin flavor in it to begin with. I'll just leave it as a five. There are some macchiatos I've loved. Like the peanut butter one. Especially when you like get to mixing it up. Oh man, the peanut butter cup. And I'm excited about the Ube one they've got coming. The witch macchiato. That's going to be fun. All right, three more drinks. Two of them are Dunkel Lattes. Let's uh, do the last pumpkin. It's a uh, Dunkel Latte. Chai. Pumpkin chai. Very intrigued. Was expecting more of an orange color here, but chai tends to bring out the flavor of these syrups the best. It's so weird, so intriguing, so fun. Let's uh, give it a try. And yet, I think Duncan failed on that. How? And I love their OG pumpkin spice. Of course, it's not Starbucks in any way. But this chai has come short in many ways. Maybe if I... Stir it around. What we're learning here is maybe the only thing you should get is a regular pumpkin spice, maybe a dunk of latte. I'm surprised they weren't, they don't have a pumpkin spice dunk of latte on the app. Yeah. Again, there's nothing bad about this, but. I'm just not getting any pumpkin. I'm just getting all chai. Like, hints of pumpkin, maybe. I'm going to give it a five. Okay. Um, let's do the toasted almond milk dunk a latte. I had to customize this one, even though Marky Devo had on his thing that it was one of the new flavors. So, it didn't cost extra, luckily. But I'm like... You said this was new. Where is it at? Why is it not on the app? So here we go. Mm. 
Now, I've never had a milkshake with almond extract in it. And it now kind of begs the question, like, with how crazy Crumble's gotten, what if Crumble was to go out and do some crazy collab with, I wouldn't say Ben and Jerry's, and they probably would never do it with Ben and Jerry's, but with some ice cream place, with maybe an ice cream chain. And they decided, let's do a pink sugar-inspired milkshake, right? So, that begs the question, like, are we, we, could we see that one day? Like, a pink, um, pink sugar cookie, almond milk flavored milkshake? Because that, that's kind of what this is giving me the vibe of. Of course, this has coffee, right? But that's kind of like, okay, cool. That would be interesting. I don't like it as much as the OG that we had earlier in this video. But it's perplexing. It is creamy. It's only got those notes of almond. I'm going to give it a 7. 7. Works for me. All right. Yeah, I would say get the get it with pumpkin. Try it out. Take a risk. All right. Blueberry. Now, this should be fun. That touch of blueberry certainly makes this one the best one. Again, it's rich, it's creamy, coffee forward, but then you got that touch of blueberry. Simple, but very good. Very, very good. Um, I'm going to give it eight and a half. That's the winner right there. That is truly, truly the winner. So, yeah, that is that is your full breakdown. Better than a TikTok video that I could do um, on this. So, long video, but hey, we made it. We made it to the end. So, happy fall, y'all, even though today is going to be 90 degrees out there, mid-90s. So, eh, and all these places want to start pumpkin before September. But hey, they're grabbing that money. And you're grabbing that pumpkin spice.